you, I'm going to show you guys how to transform this photo and add some icons to it and a few things you can do. Now, one of the first things I want you to do and learn to do is adjust the levels on each photo. Okay. So how do you do that? Well, basically you click on, um, uh, go to windows adjustments. Now, because this probably is not there, and you're going to see one that looks like a little L. Okay, that's the one you want to click on. Now, I'm going to unlock this because I usually like to have it unlocked. I just, you know, prefer that. I could make a duplicate, but for now, I won't. Now, what this does adjust the light in the room. So, when I took this photo, it's inside. It's often the light is not ideal. So, in Photoshop, you can do stuff like increase the light or lower it, make it darker. I'm going to increase it a little bit. And I'm actually going to go down here and see if I can sort of go like that so it's not too bright. I don't know if you can see the subtle difference, but I'm happy now with this. All right. Another thing, usually when I do this, I click shift and I'll merge these two. Okay. So that now the photo actually looks like this for good. So that if I add any other effects to it, uh, whatever, I don't have to worry about it. So I went and got two icons. The first one I went and got is this. All right, guys, I need you to pay attention over here, please. So I'm going to use this OTHS. So I'm, there's a lot of ways to do it. I'm going to unlock the layer, first of all. And I'm, I could use this paw, but for now, I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to delete this. And in fact, I'll just stop there. Use the magic wand tool. I'm not sure if we've covered the magic wand tool with you guys, but what it does is it selects all the color that's a similar color and makes a selection. So you can do something with it, which in this case, we're gonna delete. So I wanna delete that, boom. All right, and you see I missed a little piece here. I'm gonna go delete that. I'll go make sure there's no more marching ants. So click Command D, because if you leave marching ants, it's kind of, uh... now I have, this is still on one layer. I'm gonna use this in two separate layers. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go Command X, Command V. Why did I do that? To create two layers. So now I'm gonna use the Move tool. I'm gonna to bring this into my photo. Okay, all right. Command T to transform it. I'll click on the Shift key. I want it to look nice. I'm going to press enter and that's pretty good. Now I'm going to go get the logo. I want to show you that last one after. I'm going to add the logo here for now, I guess. Command T and I am going to uh, enlarge this with the shift key. If I keep my finger on the shift key, what it does is it keeps it as a perfect circle. If I take my finger off the shift key, look what's going to happen. Okay. And sometimes since it's a circle, you don't want that to happen. I'm going to press enter. All right. Now the last one that I picked, I'll just save this as a PSD just in case. Um, yeah, I'll call it, you know, uh, OTHS poster. We'll save it as a PSD for now. Click OK. Um, let's see another cool thing that I'm just going to show you really quickly that you could do is make a quick selection. So underneath here, there's this tool called quick selection. So what you do is that if you want to pick the inside of the lockers, uh, it's not, it's kind of going too quickly. I don't know if it's the colors. Oh, I got it on minus. That might be why I want it just inside it. What it does, it picks all one pattern. And it'll not probably pick the shirt. And if it over goes over something, see, like it just did. Oops, I let go. Am I, am I on the wrong layer? That no kidding. Like that's fixed, easy to fix. So if I want to like re just have this, like just each locker separate. And one of the things that's really cool is if you do that with all the lockers, you can go and get a gradient. Uh, where's my gradient tool here? It's back behind the paint bucket tool. I'm going to go get a nice color. Now it won't show. 
It'll just do that locker, but if I wanted to do all the lockers, I could do that, okay? I'm gonna go Command Z, Command D select. I wanna show you how to do this last photo here. I'll use this one here, all right? So I'm gonna actually bring this into the other photo. Before I do that though, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna clean it up, all right? I'm gonna unlock this. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the going towards success, but maybe you want to keep it, and that's fine. And I'm gonna remove this bottom line here, and I'm gonna move that up just a little bit, and do it again. So I'm gonna use the magic wand tool, and I'll click delete, go around, delete all the. I, I'm gonna do most of it, but maybe not all of it, just because sometimes this is what takes time is having it perfect. But for the sake of the tutorial, I don't, uh, I missed this spot here. I'm just going to delete most of it and it'll be good enough for now. And over here, of course. All right. And another, you can always go with one of these tools, a marquee tool. Click delete and move around. Click delete, delete. And it if there's anything left behind, it kind of does a good job. Now, I'm going to bring this into my next thing over here. Uh, where is the... Is that it? No, it's uh, OTHS poster. I'm going to drop it. Now, the color is a little bit off. Okay? So what I'm going to do is go and add my levels. Where did the levels go? I'll go get it again under adjustments. And it's this one. And I'm going to click Command E, I believe it is. No, it's not that. Command Z. And I'm going to move this at the top for now and just hide it, okay? Because one of the problems with this is that it's too dark. So I need to lighten it up, okay? And I always use that one to show the students on purpose. And I'm going to go Command T. I got to be, I'm going to just quickly look. Because here's what happens. If I bring this below it, it applies the change to everything. You see what that did? I don't, I don't, now I remember what this looked like. There's other ways to do this, but what I'm going to do now is before, I'm going to merge these two. So click, shift, click, merge, and then I'm going to bring it above, turn this back on. Now I'm going to click command T and maybe the shift key to keep the proportions. And I'm going to place the lions beneath them. Not the lions, the panthers. The student who drew this now works for her. She, she's the one who animated all the uh, the new bug bunnies, by the way. In case you didn't know that. Yeah. It was before my time, but uh, I'll have to get somebody. All right. And then I'm going to turn everything on. And let's pretend I'm happy with this. The proportions are a little <laughs> off for the, for the panthers. But maybe that's pretty good. So file... I'll save it again as a PSD file, save as a JPEG to send it away, all right? So that's it, guys. So I'm going to get you to go start on that. If you want to finish your paintings, that's also okay.